Hey everyone, that guy here, and welcome back to another episode of our Moonlighter playthrough. So, last episode, we went in the forest dungeon, again, but we, um, we were able to get a lot of loot, a lot of loot, a lot of good loot, stuff that'll let us upgrade our weapons and gear pretty soon. We also upgraded our beautiful, beautiful place. Actually, that might have been the episode before. Honestly, I've lost track of which episodes we've done what in at this point, but this episode we're going back in the forest dungeon because now, if I know what button to press, which I don't, um, now we have quests to do. We have quests to do. So we have to kill 10 forest tangles and 10 venomous tangles. So, actually, now that I look at it, yeah, they're just bigger versions of these with spikes in them. Huh. I never noticed that before. But yeah, we, we gotta do these two quests, and we get 24 grand for each one we complete, so... Let's go make sure we do that. Also, we can upgrade our sword. Hell yeah. We can upgrade our sword this episode. We just need to... We just needed to get the money, which is what we were doing at the end of last episode. Right, so let's go upgrade our sword first. Andre, my friend, blacksmith of the town. It's a shame I can't upgrade my gear, but that's not why I'm here. Gimme the sword. Hell yeah, 64 grand. It's it's a lot of money. It a lot of money, Andre. A lot of money, but, you know, I got money to spend, so... Give me the wild big sword. Hell yeah. And next... Next, we have to get the... The Vulcan big sword. So we'll add that to our wish list. And now, we're, we're saving up more wood so we can upgrade our bow, essentially. But yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're on a roll. Um, what's happening here? Nothing. It's just like, buy Hawker, damn it. And I'm like... No. Anyway, let's let's go see if there's anything we can get from our um, our potion lady, Eris. I'm gonna remember your name eventually, Eris. I mean, we could do with another potion. We have four. Sure, give me one. Give me one potion too. And then let me go here. Ah, yeah, we haven't upgraded that yet because it costs thirty-two grand. What about, what about this? That's also 32 grand. We can get two upgrades, though. We can upgrade the sword. And we can either upgrade the sword again, or we can upgrade our armor. I'll upgrade the armor because it does give us 20 extra points of defense. And it seems like the right idea. We can also, like, upgrade our bow, but I'd rather, you know, not upgrade it, but enhance it, I should say. But, you know, I'd rather... Well, I mean, we can't afford to enhance it right now, but we could have enhanced it, but I'd rather upgrade it before I enha enhance it. You, you know, you get me. You follow me, right? You get what I'm putting down. No? Yeah. Seems about right. Anyway. Let's go get our ass in this forest dungeon, because it's night time, and ain't nobody buying shit at night. Alright, then. We're in. We in the... Alright, let's, let's get going. We got loot to get. We could fight the boss in this episode, maybe. Not likely. I said that last time. I say this stuff all the time, in fact. Oh yeah, that does a lot of damage. Look at that, that's big boy damage. That was against the, the next dungeon enemies, too. Like, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, wait, is my turret doing more damage now? Ah. Oh. I, I, Alright, I'm not sure how the turret works at all. Either it's doing more damage because its damage scales with mine, or it's doing more damage because it gets stronger as time goes on. I don't know which it is. Oh my lord, we almost two-shot that thing. Should we just go down to the next floor? Honestly, I feel like we might be able to take on the boss this episode, so I'm not even going to waste my time. I didn't expect to be doing so much damage to things. I didn't expect things to be such a breeze. 
I am poisoned. Like, look at that. We one shot with a spinny attack. <laughs> oh, we're already at the thing for the next floor. Oh, it does a tenth of our damage. I took a lot of damage there, but that's that's fine. Okay, I understand how the pet works now, though. It does 10% of whatever my current weapon's damage is. So, because my sword does 430 damage, the turret is doing 43 damage per hit. Alright, I get it. That's, that's pretty fucking good. I like that. Now that I know how it works, I like it. Anyway, yeah, we've got to fight these forest tangle things and collect these notes. That was my quest, after all. So we got to get ten of those notes. Which, yes, they do take up a slot in your inventory. That's just the way it is. You know what? That's fine. I'll tank a hit here and there. Already? Should we just rush the boss just to see if we can take it on? I'm kind of tempted. Well, not if I'm doing dumb shit like this. One room before it. Oh my lord. Come at me. You too scared? Got ya. There we go. Alright. Sure, just just send the notes home. Yeah, that, that works. I was gonna send the notes home anyway. Alright. Alright, well we gotta go heal now. Hopefully we can get up to full. We do indeed. Alright, let's let's go let's go check out the boss. We you never know, we might actually be able to beat it. I think I remember this boss being fairly easy. Then again I might be completely wrong. I am prepared to leave should I majorly fuck this up. I do have five potions. So we do have healing. Okay. It started doing its attacks. But honestly, I don't think it matters too much. Ah, uh, here we go. It has some bullet hell type attacks. Or maybe that's just different enemies. Yeah, there might just be there might just be more enemies up here. There is. They're like little turrets. Alright, let's let's do a heal. Honestly, I'm just gonna... Did I? I did it. I thought I would dead- I thought I died for a second when I went to use a potion. But nah, we, 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 we killed that boss. Alright. I said I remember that boss being fairly easy. I mean, I could've done better. I'll admit, I could've done a better job of it. I kinda just started face-planting myself into it. I don't know. I started- just tanking the shit out of it at the end because I felt like I could and then I got worried because I thought I died when I went to use a potion because I knew I was getting low-ish on health. How much health do those potions heal? Does it tell me if I hover over them? If I go here? 75. 
So if they heal 75 and I'm on 165 right now, that must have... I wasn't that low then. I was only on like 90 HP. Alright, I... I... Yeah. I wasn't expecting to get past this dungeon this quickly. I'm kind of at a loss right now. I don't... I don't... Okay. Let's just get the loot then. Um, well, I want the logs. I want whatever I can take. Um, we're gonna have to get rid of stuff. Because I have to take these books with me. You know what? Let me organize this stuff by price first, right? Uh, sort by price. Alright. No. No, no, no. Sort them by price and just start selling things off. Move more things in. We'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of these. We'll get rid of the jelly too. Why not? Alright, we need two more. We'll get rid of you. I know you're worth a lot. And we'll get rid of this. I don't know why I didn't get rid of this. Probably because it was flashing, so I thought it was special. And now we'll move things around. So that we don't lose anything. What's this? Ring that boosts the owner's health but also weakens their defensive power. Okay. What rings do I have equipped right now? I wonder how you get the second ring, because there's two rings you can get in these dungeons. What rings do I have equipped? Boosts the owner's health but adds the weight of a golem to the wearer. See, I still don't know what that means. I still don't get what that means. Or I can boost my health, but what was its side effect? Weakens my defense. But now I don't have the weight of a golem. Whatever that means. I think the weight of the golem thing just meant I was slower. That's how it feels. Anyway, let's leave. Well, that was... We're gonna go back in the forest dungeon. This episode. where We're gonna go back in here. Because that was just a rush. We just rushed the dungeon there and then. Because we, we found the teleporter first try. Okay, I was wondering what the hell was going on. The game froze up for a second, but we're good. We're here. Two keys are in the door. And now the town is going to celebrate and the old man's going to be like, Will, what the fuck are you doing? Boy. You defeated the Golem King and now the Forest Guardian. You risk too much. Pushing me to a heart attack is what you are doing. Your grandfather would be worried sick if he was still around. Worried and unreasonably proud. I can just hear him. My grand my grandson, a merchant that slays guardians. Can you believe that? That man as stressful as you. At the request of the town, I am to inform you the desert dungeon is now open to all. Fools, we close these dungeons for a reason. Additionally, there should be a new shop expansion on the town board. Hopefully that will keep you busy away from any further guardians. Moonlighter is starting to look like it's old, busy self, though. It sure is, my guy. I understand why he's worried about me, but I mean, I've got this. I ain't no punk. I kind of am. Alright, well, let's go... Alright, what loot do I need? Dude, tell me what I need. I need that. Alright. What about for my sword? Materials I can't even comprehend yet. Let's go in the... Let's go in the shop. And I guess we're doing another day of the shop. How much are these worth? They're not even worth five grand. I'm still gonna put it up for five grand and see if they buy it. Can't blame me, it's in the glass cabinet. People should pay more money for it, right? 
Maybe. And then, you know, we'll just... We'll put regular stuff on sale. Um... Yeah, two grand is good for that, but can we get 2,200 for it? What about you? We might be able to get a grand for these. And the nuts. We haven't sold them at two grand outside of the glass cabinet, I see. Um, you, 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 you. Oh wait, no, we, we need the wood. Don't sell the goddamn wood. Don't be that guy. We need those. We can sell these, though. People like 2,200 for the drawings. Alright. And let's just dive back here a moment. Ooh, let's read this. Oh, it's just saying, it's just us crossing off our map. Not map, but like, thing. Uh, yeah, we we'll just dump these in here. We don't need these anymore, so we'll take all those out. We still need roots. We still need logs. And we'll go here. And... Take those. We'll leave the jottings in here for now. No, we won't. I'll keep them with me, just because I'm going to be collecting them when I go back in the forest dungeon anyway. We will put the ring in here, though. I think that's it. I think we've done everything. Right? Yeah, I, I think we're good. There's nothing in this chest. No. No, there ain't. Uh... Did I use a potion by accident just now? Because I think I clicked E. No, it doesn't let you. Good. Okay. Um... We need to open shop, because we need to make money before we can do anything anyway. So let's open up shop and get going. We still have quite some time left as, left of this episode. Um, so we're probably going to do another forest dungeon exploration, but we'll, we'll try and make it a short one. Like, we'll, we'll try and make it a short exploration of the dungeon. Uh, we'll, we'll just focus on killing enemies and getting the um, things we need for our quest. That's what I plan on doing anyway. I'm surprised I haven't seen no thieves yet. I expected to see some by now. Because I'm pretty sure thieves can come into the store. I'm pretty sure thieves used to be able to come in the store since the second upgrade to it, but... Wait, this is the second upgrade. I meant the first upgrade. I'm pretty sure thieves have been able to come in the store since the first upgrade, at least in past versions of the game. So, I'm kind of surprised that I haven't seen any. Um, These are the expensive thing, right? Yeah. We'll try and get six grand for it. You never know. And more like six grand for each of these. Alright, people aren't happy with fruit price. E. Uh, all right, Mushroom, we'll try and sell you at 70, but I don't have my hopes up. I think it's fine if that's lower in value, because I don't have any more of them to sell. And we'll 
will sell these. Now, I don't know the price of this stuff because it is um, desert dungeon material. All I know is it's worth more than 100 and less than 3,200. Oh, Lord. That doesn't make this easy. Let's just start off really high on these and work our way down. Tell me you'll buy it. No, you will not. How about now? How about now? Okay, that was a happy price. God damn, I'm I'm a genius. Uh, we're gonna have to lower the price of these too, because if they won't buy the other thing, they won't buy these either. Alright. Oh, quest? Hell yeah. Desert Stone. I can try. I mean, we'll probably be going in the desert dungeon after the next exploration we do in the forest one anyway. Oh, here we go. This is a thief. Get the hell out of my store, man. I'm waiting for ye. Do it. Grab something. I fucking dare you. Do it. That's what I thought. Coming in here trying to steal my shit. Were people unhappy with this price? Yeah, 70 is too high. Uh, alright. You win. They're selling for 60. Alright. Buy stuff, people. Buy my wares. Stop being cheap. Stop looking in the sale box. I never use that thing. I should have never bought it. <laughs> Come on. Okay, two grand is too much for that. Fair enough. Fair enough. I just thought because it was close to this, it'd be fine. Maybe if we set it at 1500, it'll be better. That's that's not 1500. Hell yeah, let's go. We about to make big money. Okay, 1500 still too expensive. I got you. But we have a connoisseur of the prices walk in. And this man doesn't care if it's too expensive, because he'll buy it. And then he looks in the sale box. No. Buy something, man. He ain't buying shit. <laughs> uh, Alright. Um, 900. 1200. Good. Alright, one more. We just need you to buy one more item, then we can close up shop and do another quick exploration of the dungeon. I say quick, the video's probably going to be about 40 minutes long. Because I doubt I'm ending it where I would normally want to end it. There we go. Get out of my store. <laughs> we made another 118 grand. God, I wish it was that easy to make money. Whew, I'd be a merchant in a heartbeat if I could. Alright, let's go. Talk to me, Andre. I can't get that because I need leaves. Is that why I can't... Mm. I see. I get you. I need leaves. Okay. Okay, Andre. And I can't get that. And I can get that. 64,000. Sure, why not? Upgrade my bow. And now we can take that off the wish list and put this on. Hell yeah. Alright. And now we have... Yeah, pretty good shit. Let's go down here. Hello, Eris. Eris is ye name. 
What enchantments can I get? I can enchant the sword. I'd rather not. I'd rather just do like one upgrade to the bow, maybe. Maybe not. The the forest dungeon's easy enough. We'll we'll upgrade stuff when we see how difficult the uh, desert dungeon is. All right, so let's go for another quick forest run. I say quick because I'm not going to focus too much on the loot aspect. I'm going to focus more on the killing 10 of each specific enemy aspect. Alright. We do need leaves, though, or something like that. Alright. There we go, that's one. There we go, we got it. We got it. I do feel as though my character's moving quicker now. Why couldn't I have a why couldn't I have got a quest to kill those things? That would have been easier to do. Oh, I need to kill that, though. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. That worked. Easy every time. And um, we're not going to the other dimension yet. We might go to the other dimension before we finish the game, though. Because that is one big thing I do want to do in this game is explore the other dimension because it's it de that definitely is new to the game since I last played so it is content that I want to check out anyway no that's that's not what I meant to click at all there we go let's keep going speed run I'm joking this ain't no speed run hey I need to kill these though god damn it get them dead Uh, you can... No, 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 no. But I was going to say, you can stack. Let me just... That's fine. This is fine. Okay, cool. I didn't know if there were sparkles, so I was like, I can just fall in, it's fine, I don't take any damage penalties. Let's go do that other room we missed. Okay. Nothing useful. Cool. Alright, well, I don't know where the sparkles were, I probably missed them. Killed it before he even had a chance to attack. And on we go. On we go. We have a chest. That is really useful. That is really useful. Because now we can send back these notes when we've collected them. In fact, we've just collected our tenth note there. Uh, we can send some stuff straight home. Send the notes home. Just take everything here. I don't care about the pedals. So we're just gonna sell them. 
And I don't care about the two jelly, whatever. Red jelly is easy enough to get. And now let's just go to that chest and dump everything that we have in it, rather than worrying about having a full inventory. I ain't here to be as efficient as possible. I'm just here to kill certain enemies and get loot. And right now, all we need to kill is some more of those forest tangle things. Specifically, the all right. Specifically, we need to kill the. Can you? You're not gonna come to me. I don't care. I'll take a bit of poison damage. Whatever. No, 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 no. Give me, give me the shit. Alright, cool. Oh my lord. Yeah, I need to be more careful. <laughs> I... Alright, I should have died there. I 100% should have died there. I did not deserve to live on 8 HP. At all. Dying was probably a good alternative because it would have taught me a lesson. The lesson being not to just plant my face into that enemy. Um, yeah, I'll I'll learn for next time. No, I won't. But if I say I'll learn for next time, then it's a little bit better. But nah, I, I genuinely should be more careful with this shit. No, 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 no. That's not what I want to happen right now. No, no, no. Give me, give me the goddamn chest. Give me the chest. Give me the loot. Kill that bone thing. Ooh. Big sword. We don't need... Which one is it we don't need? We don't need forest tangle. We already have ten of those ones. Where is it? There it is. I got one gold. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm gonna heal. That was bad. No, 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 I want that! I want the loot. Get rid of these. And this. There we go. Alright, we're good. I don't think we can pick any of this up. Well, not the yellow jelly. There was sparkles, though. Give me, an, give me another chest. Okay, we got a book. I am 100% taking this. Um, what do we sacrifice? One of these. There we go. If you don't put an item there, the pedestal is... I don't know if it's always trapped, or if it's just sometimes trapped. But the pedestal is usually trapped, and if you don't place an item, then the big green monster thing spawns and comes to get you. Yeah. Anyway, we're almost out of time for this episode, so we'll go down to the next floor. We'll, we'll kill a couple enemies, but we'll probably be leaving pretty soon so I can end the episode. Because I don't want to go too far over my usual time. You know. 
I do want this chest, though. Oh, shit. Alright, what's in here? Some crazy shit. Ooh, what is this? Vampire amulet. Makes its wearer deal 20% less damage, but transforms 2% of attack damage into health. I definitely want that. We'll get rid of that. Um, get rid of the curse on this. We can stack you. In fact, saw everything. There we go. Um, we can send things home, so let's send you home. Let's send you home. Let's send that home. I probably should have sent the book home, but whatever. Take those. Take the roots. And we'll put them facing that. Take the wood that we don't really need. Take this, and we'll put it facing the pots. We'll take these. We'll take this. And maybe the nuts instead of those? How much are those worth? Yeah, hell yeah. And we will, um... Alright, time to remove the cat thing. Oh, hell no! Just leave. Just leave. <laughs> I panicked so damn much right then. Alright, hopefully I made all the right decisions. So, there is a quest that we might not finish off unless we go back in the forest dungeon, unfortunately, but that's... I'm willing to make that sacrifice right now. Anyway, we're going to end the episode here. So, as always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like on the video. And subscribe to my channel for more Moonlighter and other gaming-related content. And also leave a comment down below. You know, feed the algorithm, say hi to me. And with that, I will see you all next time. So, goodbye, guys.